same image we so far discovered in the 31 and okay. on the 78 also photos of Milo. So we see bars that are open to a certain extent. So we go now to the floor of uh, Israel and uh, the only caper that blooms in the season when Gundelia releases the pollen that is the most common type of pollen on the shroud uh, is Caparis egyptia, which blooms in the Dead Sea area. That's why we went together to the uh, Dead Sea also. And I think uh, with a, with a uh, watch, mm -hmm. uh, the flowers. This is in the field, and this is the afternoon. The buds start to open to show the white color among the green sepal. Mm -hmm at around uh, 11, 12, and then at 4 it is like that. So at 4, about 4, oh I pick them in the Judean desert, bring them home, and put them experimentally uh, without water, so without water, only buds with their pedicels, without vo water, stems with the buds, with water, buds and pedicels in a uh, ashtray and uh, in s stands with buds in water in glass and uh, we'll go directly to this uh, 19 hours these are all the transitions and the buds that I picked up and put them without water remain the same the buds that were in water open mm -hmm. and uh, also the stems in water open the conclusion is that when you cut caper and you don't put it in water, then it uh, freezes the uh, stage of yeah. opening. And At the conclusion the is that the people who brought the caper from the Judean desert, because only in the Judean desert there is a caper blooming in the period when there are pollen grains of Gundelia. You can see, uh, it is going to be a surprise for you in the conference, so yeah. I'll show you it now. Okay. This is the distribution of pollen on the shroud on 160 pollen grains that we tried to measure, although Alan <laughs> was disturbing us ah, all the time. <laughs> I'm praising you for what you taught us, so I can also tell that you. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, I, <laughs> Every I, day I, picking on one. I love you, yeah, anyway. Right. Even at breakfast. So, uh, especially. And uh, this is Gundelia. Yeah. It's the most common plant. It's the only plant that we can determine the species by the group, by the by the pollen. Beyond the others, it's the family size. This was the mistake, or not mistake, the working mistake, I mean, while he was working, of Max Fry. And yeah. ours too, because we didn't know what we know now, that you have to have higher magnification to differentiate between Heliantemum and Cistus, which are different plants of the same family. So here it is the family, but this one is a species. And this is the most common species. In so Israel. Is most Gundelia. common in Israel. Most no, common on a shroud. Most common on a shroud, okay. On the shroud. Okay. There are many common species. So the, this plant is giving us the frame of the time between February and May. It gives us the frame of the distribution. And uh, it gives us the nomenclature or the, the determination of the caper. And the caper is Caparis egyptia, and Caparis egyptia opens to the stage I see it on the shroud around 3 to 4 p.m. So the people who brought flowers mm -hmm. to the shroud picked them in the Judean desert between 3 to 4. Kept them in water? 
No. 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 They, no. they didn't know that they would be. They would have to spend uh, for analysis two thousand years later. <laughs> yeah. And that and that not with the cover. And leaders. that plant is unique to Israel. Kapara to Egyptia? No, it grows also to Egyptia, Egypt. Okay. It grows but through the rift. You need. Y unique to the Middle East. Yes. Okay. And the northernmost place on Earth where it grows is five kilometers, ten kilometers north of Jericho. Okay. So when you take the distribution of Kapali, Zigophilum, and Gundelia, it will be sufficient to make uh, the map you, sh you saw before, and you can see again, it's. Uh, this uh, map from my, my PDF map from my overlay, overhead. Isn't that mm -hmm. incredible? You're going to want to use acetate hmm? instead of slides. Don't touch them. I don't want to use acetate. Acetate? You need overhead know? projectors? I yes, I will. them to make sure there's an overhead projector there. I do, I do need. Yeah. If I knew that it would be like the list of uh, lecturers, I would bring my own, my, my own from work. Oh, good. Call them for we can both use it. <laughs> you can <laughs> use it to put when you have the list of <laughs> lecturers. Yeah. So this is the distribution map. I'm, is it uh, upside down? I mean, it's the wrong. Could you take the white paper and put it here? No. That's better. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea and the, the Persian Gulf, and uh, this is Gundelia to Nefoti. That's the distribution and of the plant. And this is the Zygophilum, and the distribution meets in the area of Jerusalem to Be'er Sheva. Did they tell you where the Persians put a cloth on? Cloth? It certainly wasn't medieval France. It sure wasn't medieval France. <laughs> Was it 50 miles radius around Jerusalem? Maybe not every this is another uh, issue that I I don't I I not have enough time to go to that. But I did some comparison between my database and the, the uh, names of plants. But since I'm restricting to two or three species, the area of distribution of the whole